All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be answering a question I've got a lot over the past couple of weeks. A lot of coaches and trainers have been asking me how to write an ebook and how to put all the pieces together, how to sell it, how to promote it. And I thought, you know what, I might just write an ebook on you know, how to do that and create a course behind it and sell it because uh, there's a lot of interest. But I thought, you know what, right now it's going to be better if I just record a video and I walk you through everything. And I do know if you need more help with, with what I'm about to cover here, reach out to me, text me at 210-960-5771. That's where you can get more personalized help from me and I can answer any questions. And saying that, all right, if you look at the screen here, I have this laid out, very simple, all right? And the goal here is to walk you through how to analyze everything and how to write it and publish it within 24 hours, all right? And when I say 24 hours, that means once you start writing, you finish it, all right? You don't take seven months to go back and forth on, you know, how should this be set up? Should it be done this way or this way? Or should I, you know, change the title of the book? A lot of people who try to do this sort of stuff, they are paralyzed with fear and they never end up publishing it. And I'll tell you, um, I've written uh, at this point, three different eBooks. Um, I'm gonna be working on another one coming up. And these aren't things that take years to do. If you have the right structure, you can do them quickly. And the thing that you have to know though, is anybody can write an eBook. Anybody can be an author, uh, especially on Amazon. But what most people don't do is they don't know how to sell it. All right, I'm all for publishing a book, but if you don't know how to sell it, then no one can read it and no one can learn from what you've written. And in this video, I'm going to address how to do all of that. This way, there's no excuses, all right? So first, if you look at the middle of the screen, it says first ebook, and that could be anything, all right? You could be creating a guide on how to lose weight or a guide on how to become more confident. Uh, a lot of people who are subscribed to my channel are coaches, specifically within sports or personal trainers. And you could create an ebook based on anything. And the facts are, whatever idea you have, someone else has already done it. Someone else has already created an ebook, they've already created a course, uh, it's very difficult to come up with like a brand new idea that no one's done, right? And it's not about reinventing the wheel. It's about creating a resource that is useful for someone to go through and it's going to solve the problem, which is why on the left-hand side of the screen, it says problem you are solving. And this is the number one thing that you have to sort out before you try to write an ebook or think about an ebook. You, you must solve a problem, all right? If you've watched the last couple of videos I've posted here on YouTube, I've been talking about problem solving. And if you're gonna do anything online, that's the thing that you have to do. If you're not solving someone's problem, no one's going to read your book. No one's gonna download it, no one's gonna buy it. No one's gonna read it for free if you're not solving one of their problems because no one wants to waste time, all right? And that's the critical number one thing that you have to do at the beginning is you have to be a problem solver and your ebook must address those problems and solve those problems. Otherwise, like I said, no one's going to read it. No one's going to download it. All right. Then we have to address who is it for, All right? For example, if we know the problem you're solving, all right, if we understand that you should know who it's for, that's why you start with the problem. A lot of people don't do that though. They try to figure out, well, I wanna create an ebook for 35 to 60 year olds 
and my ebook's going to be about how to make more money. Well, what, what are the, what's the real problem that we're solving here? All right. We're, we're not specific with what the problem is. So people that are within that age, I mean, there's a million resources that are free that are not worth paying for <laughs> on YouTube. All right. So again, we understand the problem. Then we know who it's for and we're specific who it's for. And a great example is I have an ebook. It's on my buildmysportsbiz.com website. It is targeted for coaches that want to learn how to start a business. And in that ebook, I talk about all of the problems that I've already gone through, right? That's like 12 years of business experience in that ebook. Then I talk about all the solutions and how to properly run the business, how to properly start, how to get clients. And it's very thorough, right? But I realized what the problem was. Then I targeted who is it for? That ebook has been very successful. And it's not by chance that that happened. It's because it's targeted. I'm solving a very specific problem. So, right, so I hope you understand that. And you can go check out the ebook. It's on our website. Uh, this morning, we had a coach from the Netherlands buy it. Uh, yesterday, we had uh, two coaches. Uh, one was here in the U.S. and the other one was in, a in, in another country who purchased the program. All right. Those are things that can happen 24 seven. If you set it up, you are solving a problem and you know who it's for. All right. Then we need to understand where are you selling it? All right. These are critical pieces that people don't think about. All right. Cause if I go solve a problem and I know who it's for, right. And I don't know where I'm selling it, then who's going to buy it. And I know that sounds really logical. Right? It sounds like a stupid thing to say here, <laughs> uh, but it's true. Do you have an email list? Are you building an email list? Uh, are you selling it through YouTube? Are you selling it through Facebook? Are you doing paid ads uh, on Facebook or on YouTube? Are you selling it on Twitter? Are you like, are you selling it to an organization that has a bunch of parents who are going to read the, the, your ebook? Uh, are you going to sell it on Amazon? If you're going to do it on Amazon, do you know how to rank it on one of the first couple of pages for that search? Right. And again, this all comes down to being strategic. For me, what's worked really well is creating an email list regularly talk to my email list, build my email list, have a YouTube channel. All right. That's for what I do. That's worked very, very well. And that can work for you too. But like with that, then you'd have to start a YouTube channel. You'd have to start marketing, right? You could do it through a podcast. I mean, there's a million different things that you can do, but we need to be specific where are you selling it? Right. I don't want you to waste time on, you know, spend all your time creating an ebook and then be like, Oh, it's done. And then, okay, well, where do I do it? Where I sell it. Think about that and know that before you start this way, we have different layers. All right. And the layers are already complete before you write the book. So you have confidence selling the book because you know, we're going to sell it. All right. If you have any questions about that, like if that's confusing, comment below. Um, but I'll tell you, if you don't think about those things critically before you write your first word of your ebook, then you're not going to make any sales and you're going to waste time. And I know that because I've talked to people, um, who do it that way. And they, they wonder why am I not getting any sales? Um, they're not critically thinking about those steps before then. All right. Once we have figured out those things. All right, we've solved the problem. All right, we know who it's for. We know where we're selling it. Then, all right, where I have here on the, it's in red. It says, "What is it?" All right, that's the title. What's the title? And I know what most people do is they'll think about the title for three months. The best way you can 
think of the title is we know what the problem we're solving is. If we know what that is, coming up with a title should take less than five minutes. And the easiest way to come up with a title is pull out your iPhone, go to your notes, and think of five different titles. And then send those titles to your five closest friends or five family members or five clients and ask them, hey, which one do you like the best? Get people to tell you. Don't, don't just keep this a secret. Get other, get other uh, clients, family members, friends, get people involved, get their feedback and ask them why. Why do you like that title? Why does that make sense to you? All right? So there you have your title. That can take less than uh, five minutes to come up with a title name. Then it's going to take probably less than five minutes to text five people and get their feedback and understand why they like the one that, uh, that you gave them. And then you hone in on the one that's the most popular or the one that you feel like is the best. And then you do that. All right. Not that difficult. Then we got the title. Boom. It's finished. Now we're going to go create the outline And a very simple way of creating the outline is by understanding what are the problems that we're solving here. And we create those into chapters. Okay. Once they're created into chapters, then we fill it with solutions. So problem, solution, problem, solution, right? And a very common question I've gotten is, well, how long does the ebook need to be? If you are writing a 700 page book, right? I doubt most people who buy it online are going to read it. Okay. If you have something that's short, it's to the point, it addresses the problem. They can get in and get out and read it within like two hours or an hour. What would someone rather have? I know for me, I'd rather spend less time fixing my problem than spending more time. That's, that's how it is for me. And the feedback I've gotten from clients, that's, that's what they tell me too. People go through our book. It's an easy read. It doesn't take that long. I have videos too that complement the, the chapters, but that's what you need. You need an outline, right? Once you have the outline, you write the dang book, right? This is the piece everyone wants to do, but they hesitate. And then they go back and forth on, oh, is this good enough? Or, oh, I need to get someone else to look at it, or I need to change it. And then they're like, oh, well, I, I need to go back and change the title. There's a lot of hesitation that I see people take. Um, and the good thing about doing this sort of stuff is if you've already addressed and identified what the problem is, we know who it's for, we know where we're selling it. There's really nothing else we need to know other than writing it and just finishing it. And this is where I would tell you, you sit down on your computer and once you start typing, you don't stop until you finish it, which I know is very difficult for a lot of people to do, but you already have your outline. So you should already know what you're going to be talking about. And if you've done a lot of email marketing, which is one of the things I've talked about on our channel relentlessly, I've talked about that on our podcast. I've been talking about that on our channel for years. If you have been writing a bunch of emails, then you can go back and look at a lot of the email content that you've already published and you could repurpose some of that to be in your book. Things that really worked in your emails, things that, that people, uh, you know, they gave you good feedback on, especially if you're talking about, if you're talking in your ebook about the, prior emails that you've already written in, in, in the past, All right? I'm not saying copy and paste your emails into an ebook. I'm saying use ideas that you've already published. That makes your life easier, okay? And when I say write the dang book, that means you finish it. You're not gonna take three years to do it. By the time you've taken three years to do it, someone else has already written 
hundreds of, uh, there's hundreds of people who've already written the ebook that you want to write. Like that, that's just how it works. Okay. So write it, finish it. Maybe have one other person look it over, you edit it. All right. And then from there, you're going to save it in Google drive. And guys, I'm showing you what to do, how to do it. All right. Save it in Google drive. Once it, it's edited, once it's finished, um, you could go to a website called canva.com and add graphics to it and stuff like that. Personally, I don't do that. I, I don't think that that's a very important uh, thing for me. And once you have it saved in Google Drive, you have edited the document, all right, it's a PDF. Then we're going to upload it into Kajabi. Now, if you don't know what Kajabi is, it's a membership area. And this is how you can create, package, and sell online courses, ebooks, uh, membership sites. I could go on and on and on. I've been using that for the last five years. Any coach that I've helped when it comes down to online that's doing online, like ebooks, uh, consulting, I mean, you name it, anything you could think of. Anyone who's doing that at a high level is using Kajabi. And it's a very simple system to use. And that's going to allow you to store your ebook on a membership site. And only those who purchase your ebook will have access to it. They'll get a username and a password. It's all automated. And once they log in, they have access to it. Boom, they can consume it right there. All right. And that also gives you opportunities to sell other products and services. Once they buy it, you can set up an upsell. If you don't know what that is, it's the same way of thinking when you go to McDonald's, when you, you order something, they're always going to ask you if you want fries and a drink. All right. So if you're selling an ebook, you can ask the customer if they want to buy uh, your digital video program and your consulting program or a one-on-one -on -one program and this, that's up to you. A lot of people don't do that and they're, they're missing out on a big opportunity, All right? But you're gonna want to use Kajabi to do this. And you can get a free trial. You can get a 30 day free trial. Um, I partnered up with them, great company. I only recommend companies if I personally use them. And you'll be able to have the entire process that I'm talking about down, All right? And you'll be able to plug it in there. Once it's plugged in there, all right, you're good to go. You're good to, st you're good to start selling it and driving traffic there, all right? And you can go to my website at buildmysportsbiz.com slash resources to grab that trial. And um, I know if you have any questions about that, if you're like, yeah, I want to do that, but I just don't know if that's going to be a good system for me, reach out to me. I, I can get on a call with you and tell you how it works. I can give you a tour of my account and show you how it works. I'm willing to do that. Um, but if you review this video and you look back, like it's pretty self-explanatory, solving a problem. We know who it's for. We know where are you selling it? All right. We write it. All right. Sorry. We have the, the course outline. We write the dang book, save in Google drive, upload it to Kajabi, start selling it. You'd start selling it the day that you upload it to Kajabi. And the only thing that I'm missing here is a sales page, right? And I did not include that on here because I did not want that to be a distraction, but I'll finish the video with this. You need to have a page that sells the ebook. The only way to do that is by number one, you, you can do it two different ways. You can have a sales video on a website that talks about what the ebook is, how, how it works, how it helps solve fill in the blank problem. Or you can have a sales page where you're using copywriting and you're explaining in depth what the problem is, what the solution is, how it works, results of people who've, who you've worked with in the past, results of people who've read the ebook, uh, testimonials, case studies. And that's something you need to have as a mechanism that sells the book. Because think about it. 
most people, <laughs> I mean, I know for me, I'm never going to go buy something unless I know what it is. And the sales page ultimately is a description of what the book is and it's selling the book. And then you create a checkout process where people buy, they go into Kajabi, they consume it. It's all automated. And that's why I want to create this video is to show you exactly how to do this. Right. But once you finish all of that, yes, you need to have a sales page. And there's a lot of little details that go into creating a sales page. There's a lot of little details when it goes into copywriting. There's a lot of little details with, with even how to set up your ebook. If you want to create future sales or you want to create alternative programs after that. But this is a, a overview of exactly what to do. Now, if you get done watching this video and you have more questions, reach out to me at 210-960-5771. When you do that, all right, after you do that, very simple. Um, I'll text you back, we'll talk. Um, I'd love to chat with you to help you get this set up because this can be a great way of uh, producing more income within your business. Because once it's set up, you don't have to, you don't have to, ultimately you don't have to do any more work to go into create any more uh, like content within the ebook. Once it's finished, it's finished. Right. Same, same way with building an online program. Once it's done, it's done. And of course you're going to update it over time. Right. But, uh, this can be a great way to build an online brand. This can be a, a great way to help more people. Uh, and this can be an awesome way to solve problems, uh, that your future customers are dealing with right now. So that's it guys. Um, hope that makes sense. Any questions, shoot me a text and I'm here to help.